Keep watching Charis TV. In fact, I was telling Tendo uh, that me, I won't allow you to buy something for yourself when I'm around. If you remember, I was talking about a house. I said, my, me, my house. If I have a house, if God blesses me like this, with this grace I have, I must buy you people houses. You know why I'm saying that? Because I know the mercy of God upon my life. Amen. It was not because I'm not saying don't buy. Go and buy if you want to buy. But I believe you will do that for your children. Look here. The opposite is the case. I believe by the grace that we have here. Our children can even bless us. You can also bless your children, your, your, your parents. I said the children also can bless the parents. But the mercy you have, I was told by God that if we obey, your children will never suffer. Amen. You people, you will never suffer. You. Amen. So, listen. Stay in one place is not your portion. Amen. Amen. I just want to send you out this week to go Amen. and search for properties. Amen. Go to estates. Go to estates. Amen. Let's dominate. Amen. I said, let's dominate. Amen. Go to estates. Amen. I'm sending you out. In fact, I, Mama, I want my children to do that here in Charisse. Amen. I want to hear testimonies of houses. Amen. You are Amen. moving. You are moving. You are Amen. moving. I say you are moving. Amen. I say you are moving. Amen. If you stay in a house that you have rented for five years, move out. Amen. There's a demon that is fighting you that house. Amen. You cannot rent a house or a, a flat for five years. Move out and see other things. It might, there might be a demon of stagnation there. Amen. I don't know if you are hearing me. Amen. Let me see people who have stayed in an apartment for more than five years. Lift up your hands. Uh, your apartment in yeah, you go and move out. out. Plan to find another apartment. Amen. I don't know if you are hearing me. Amen. We, are, we have God's mercy. Amen. It will speak for you. Amen. I said it will speak for you. Amen. There might be another apartment which is more better. That you can might be paying it with less money than where you are staying. Amen. I command you to move out. Amen. I command you to move out. Amen. Lift up your hands. Father, today I'm anointing people here to find favor. Especially those who are in a family where there's competition. Especially those who are not understood. Especially those who are tired of seeing one thing. Especially those who are in depth. Father, anoint them and break the curse. Let me see those people. Break this curse. Break this curse. They cannot be in depth. They are children. You are cancelling debts here. You are cancelling debts. You are cancelling debts here. Oh, this car is a debt. This house is a debt. This is a debt. Father, you are cancelling debts here. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. There's, there's a spirit. Yes. People like that bring them here. Look at this woman, what she's doing here. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Whatever was put in your body to make you failure, I'm locating it by fire. I'm locating it by fire. I'm locating it by fire. That thing in the body, that thing. Yeah. 
You are not a failure. I see God's mercy coming to change your destiny, to change your life. After this service, the business that you were failing to do, you will do it. That business, go and write something about it. A business plan, a business plan. God's mercy is upon you. 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 Father, can you show me these people I'm seeing here? They put things in their body. They put things in that body there so that you fail. I'm saying you will never fail. You will never fail. You will never fail. You will never fail. Lift your right hand, there's something in your hand. That hand, that hand. That hand, that hand. That hand, can you help him? Yes. Uh, it's not him. That hand, that hand. I say you will never fail. Lift your right hand. Something is happening in your hand. Let me see that hand. Let me see that hand. Father, let the favor touch that hand. Your favor of God's mercy. Let it touch that hand. Lift it up higher. I see the favor of God upon you, that hand, you will touch money. I say that hand that is up, you will touch money. You will never lose things. Father, can you show me those people? They are here. They are here. They are here. I'm seeing a hand, a hand, a hand of God touching you. The mighty power of God. The mighty power of God. The mighty power of God. That will bring promotion. That will bring success. That will bring victory. Lift your hands higher. God's mercy is upon us. God's mercy. In your heart, say it. God's mercy is upon us. God's mercy is upon us. In my business. In my ministry. In my job. Hey. Oh, no. This is a demon. Say so God's mercy is upon. Can you say it? Can you say it? In your heart. Don't say it louder. Say it. God's mercy is upon me. In my studies. Oh. In my career. Can you speak louder now? Speak louder, speak louder. God's mercy is upon me. In what? Eh? God's mercy is upon me. Can you speak louder? The mercy of God is upon me. Hey! In my ministry, in my job, in my business, in my business, God's mercy is upon me. In my studies, say it out. You are starting a year. You are starting a year. In Jesus' mighty name. Look here. 
I'm arresting this spirit so that when you talk something there, it must happen to you there. This year, this year, this year, this year must never end. I said, this year must never end. You must have a testimony. I said, you must have a testimony. The spirits that are here must be ar arrested right now here. You must be free. You be free wherever you are. Be free. Can you rejoice and thank him that it is done? Let me see you jumping. Let me see you jumping. Let me see you jumping. In Jesus' name. You can see the spirits are angry. Why? Because you, you are entering a place. You are entering a place of victory. I say you are entering a place of victory. After this service, after this service, Whatever that trouble you just rejoice. Because at the end, you are the one to love last. We are in God's mercy here. We are in God's mercy. I want to tell you something. There was a time I was going to Canada. When I was going to Canada, you see this cabin where the flat, the, uh, in aeroplane there's this where you sit alone. Can you see that? And you see this, there's a TV here. Everything is you are inside. I'm sure you, some of you are aware of that. I was sitting alone. My heart began to tell me, pray. Pray because of where you are going. I think I might have prayed three hours. I'm just thinking. When I'm busy praying, someone, the place where I was, was like, like a house. I see someone coming at the door and try to fight the door to open where I am. I want to be honest with you. The first thing that came to me was fear. The first thing. And I asked why I have, I feel fear when this person is doing like this. Honestly, I felt fear. And then later I heard that person says, you are going to where other people have not gone. We don't want you here. We don't want to hear. I was thinking, it is the spirit of there. Are you hearing me? But I knew this is the spirit of here. Sometimes you find spirits which are there. Can you see that? Whereas there are spirits here where you are born. Are you hearing me? I was thinking, it is a spirit where I was going. Because when I look at that spirit, it changed to be a person. And then I say, I can't talk with you. He says, no, we don't want you. Where are you going? You are entering where no one has ever entered. And I realize it's true. I've never seen anybody going there of my nation. Are you hear what I'm trying to say? Eh? Can I tell you something after this service? Because some of you, you don't know what is happening. There are spirits from home. Are you hearing me? It's no spirit of there. There, there's nothing of home. 
Because you are going to break a record. Are you hearing me? These spirits will cause confusion around you. Don't watch on it. Don't watch any confusion. Are you hearing me? Others will visit you tonight. I don't know if you are hearing me. They are going to visit you tonight. Tell them. Tell them. I have broken a record. Tell them I have broken what? I'm breaking my record. The Lord is with me. I'm breaking my record. Tell them I'm breaking my record. Can you begin to break your record? Break your record. Break the record in your family. I can't hear you. Say, I'm breaking my record. I'm breaking my own record. In Jesus' name. I want to say congratulations. Congratulations.